hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you guys the final part of how to make a cartoon since we have the line art and the flat colors done now it's time to work on the actual highlights and shadows For me, I personally like doing the shadows first because I feel like highlights are a final stuff. It's like a, something along the lines of a final touch. So usually what I do when I'm working on the shadows, I'll create a layer above the base layer and I'll clip it to that layer so that way anything that I draw doesn't go outside where I want it to. And I usually use the multiply layer, like multiply setting for the layers. And I take a color that I think goes well with the base color and sometimes I'm wrong and I have to go and readjust it as you guys will see later on in the video. But honestly when it comes to the shadows take your time because if you put the shadows in the wrong place then it would change the person's face shape, it'll change the way that they look like in general and that they might not give you the look that you want. One thing that I can suggest is to not only use the airbrush tool to lay down colors but to also spread the colors out and to blend everything together because not only does it allow for easy blending but it sort of gives that soft cartoony look that you might be going for. So after you lay the colors down in the general area, I would switch the smudge tool, click on the airbrush and then go around and move colors around to where you want it to be with also keeping in mind where the light source is coming from. After all the shadows are done and you feel very comfortable with that part of the painting that you're currently on, then I'll go in with the highlights. Now, I generally like to use the add mode for colored highlights and the luminosity mode for white highlights. So as you guys will see, I'll be using both today for, these cart for this cartoon and you guys will be able to see what I use and how I use it. Now the colors that I choose generally depend on the kind of picture that I want, the kind of feel that I want. So if you want it to be more fantasy, then you can play with colors like purple, blue, and green for the highlights. But if you want something more realistic, then the natural tones will probably work better for you.
the number one thing to remember when you're doing something new like this for the first time is to be patient with yourself because if you are not familiar with color theory and you don't really understand how the colors work together you might not get the look that you want the first time you do it but just keep working through that area and then if you feel like you're getting stuck move on to another place and then come back to it because I guarantee you when you come back to that area that you stuck at before you will kind of see it in a new light maybe even a better light and it'll allow you to do what you need to do for your cartoon.
another thing that I can say is when you're done with everything, then that's when you can add like the little smidges or the little details that kind of make the cartoon pop, but it doesn't take away the main focus of the person's face. As you guys can see, I was trying to play around and see if I can do anything to like dress the cartoon up, make it look a little bit more appeasing to the eyes, but I ultimately decided that simple was better for my case. But if you guys feel the need to bling it up, do it up, do what you feel. It's your art and whatever you do is totally fine. like what you've seen today please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and also if you would like to help support me as an artist and open my own art shop you could click the link down in the subscription thank you so much for watching and have a great day